Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Joints Flight Academy, and I'm at Pittsburgh International Airport today to talk to you about a really important new update that was just released by the FAA a couple days ago. The FAA finally has released their recertification process that they plan on implementing as soon as two weeks in time. So this is the beginning of June 2018, and right now we've seen some of the information on what that recertification process is going to be like. A lot of people were very much looking forward to a much easier recertification process than the FAA is proposing. And um, to give you some of the changes, we're going to put up on the screen now what, how um, the FAA as part of the certification process and compared to what they're going to do for the recertification process, it definitely appears that many people feel that the recertification process is going to be much more difficult. So let's talk about some of these key elements here of what the FAA is doing. It's very clear to me that the FAA is definitely trying to make sure that Part 107 license operators understand airspace very well, understand this aeronautical decision making very well, airport operations very well, and know how to be able to do the basic functions like uh, request a waiver or to know the difference between a airspace authorization request and an airspace waiver request. So a lot of people don't know a lot of these different things. When I have students come to me for flight training, they've already gotten their 107 certification. Many of them cannot identify controlled airspace on where they're allowed to fly. And that's because airspace isn't the easiest thing to learn. A lot of people, when they take the certification test the first time around, they got, would get very bad scores on the airspace part of the test or the airport operations part of it. The FAA know that. They see the data as to what people get wrong and what people get right. And they want to make sure that you know they are now concentrating that you know what you need to know that's really important as far as uh, airspace operations go. So with that said, we're going to go take the test as soon as it's available. We're going to then give you the feedback as to what we feel uh, is in the line of needing to be concentration for studying. And then uh, just give that and help. We're also going to make a course for the recertification process. As I get more information, we're going to do update videos to give you guys all the information that you need for that recertification process and for those who are up, up in, a, in attempts to start taking the certification test for the first time what you'll need to know and how to adapt for that so I hope that helps and we will definitely keep you guys updated as the process develops and if you have any questions like always please feel free to reach out to me thanks again if you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, SteelCityFlightAcademy.com.